<laughs> the mainstream media. But, and here's why. Not, not because you're being a jerk, but you call them out. You know, you yeah. call them out like, hey, you, you knew it. that's a stupid question or whatever you say. You know, that you call them out like you're trying to make something out of nothing in your own words. So thank you for standing strong. And that's I, what well, we like. <clears throat> thank you. I have to confess, it, it, this all happened, me taking on the, on the news kind of by accident. When I first decided to run for office, I said to my team, I'm not going to talk to any of the media. They're so dishonest. I'm just going to refuse all interviews. And then we agreed to one. We gave somebody five minutes, and it was a hit piece. And he started asking me. He just came into it with, you could tell the agenda he was pushing. And I started to feel myself get so angry inside. And I was answering him. Each question I answered him, I threw it right back at him. Five minutes ended. We actually gave him ten minutes. And we wrapped it up, and I called my team, and I said, that was the biggest mistake. I'm never doing that again. I completely lost my cool. It's, I mean, this is going to end it. This is going to end my, my uh, campaign. So we watched it back. Turns out I didn't lose my... I actually am pretty good at keeping my cool. <laughs> on the inside, on the inside, it felt like I was just out of control, but it turns out I had kept my cool, and I actually put him in his place. And... <laughs> And so my, my team said, are you sure you don't want to do any more interviews? We think this is actually pretty good because you're showing people how the fake news works. That's right. And so we started, we started doing more and more interviews, and I, I really do believe we have revealed to the people how the fake news works. And here's how it is. They come at you. They throw you a question, but it's not just a simple question like, hey, where do you stand on this latest piece of legislation? They throw their opinion into it. They push a narrative. They try to make you look terrible. And then they throw the question at you. And so what we did is we started taking a video camera and a microphone, and we started showing what the press is up to. Yep. Amen. And we've had some pretty good, I guess you could say, highlights from that. But the funniest thing is my husband said it not too long ago. He said, oh, my gosh, I'm so relieved. I said, why? And he said, now the world knows what it's like to argue with my wife. <laughs> I don't know where Jeff is. <laughs> it's like, this is why I never win an argument. He said, you can make me, who's an expert in what I know I'm an expert in, think I'm not an expert in that anymore. So um, anyway, uh, we're just trying to expose to real people what the, what the media's been up to. And if they're going to lie every single day about people like me and people like President Trump and, and all kinds of us, you know the names they've called us, if they're going to lie about us, what else are they lying about? That's right. What are they lying about when it comes to covering the events of the world? Can we trust them with that? I don't think we can. That's why I say turn it off. Go to Gene. I get more from your newscast. I really do. Thank you. Thank you.